hi guys welcome back to the vlog i'm so happy you're here um welcome to a week in my life kind of sort of a few days in my life of a, a few good moments a few not so good moments but we're here we made it we're alive and i'm so happy you're here so let's get into it <laughs> We are currently posted up. Say hi. We're at the beach. Lindsay, baby. We're we are having a little pizza beach date. Um, getting some pictures for my journal prompt guide that I will be releasing Sunday. The, by the time you're watching this, it'll probably already be released. So um, excited. But yes, very exciting. Having some pizza on the beach in our bikinis because that's what we do. That's just what you do. Mm -hmm. No restriction, just living life. That's the, the best combo, honestly. It's like it is good food, the beach, the beach, all the vibes, all the vibes. Pepper. Okay, so what did we get? Oh, we got pepperoni, and we got what was the second one? Sopre, sopresato. Sopresato. Or sopresata. I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. Good. You want a slice of this? Chili flakes are a must. I'm sorry. I know. Little on top of the top of the finger. Oh, you're waiting for <laughs> I'm me. Waiting for you. Cheers. I'm, not, I'm here like. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bro. Napkin. Napkin. Well, bro, holy, that is good. Chili flakes really topped it off. How do you eat your pizza? See, I fold mine. <laughs> it's a game changer. Have you done that? Oh my god. Makes I don't it. fold my pizza. Folding your pizza? It's like a taco. It's like, you know? Oh my god. It makes sense. More pizza in less time. Mm -hmm. I'm the messiest eater ever. Oh That's my god. This guys. is so good. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Real cheese hits different. Always. It's the it's worth the tummy ache every now and then. Mm -hmm. Every now and then. Especially for pizza. When it's this good, oh. Say less. I will take those stomach pains for the next eight hours. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm so happy you like spice. Dude, this spicy is good. Mm -hmm. I'm loving every second of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I've never tried this before, but I've heard it's really good. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. Mm -hmm. Olipop cherry vanilla. Cheers. Oh my god. You have to try it. Yeah? It's fire. I really like it. Ooh. Right? Cherry's good. It's good. Cherry's good. I've had strawberry vanilla. That one's super this good. This is fire. Go try it. I got it at Whole Foods. I think they also sell it at Sprouts. They do. That's yeah. where I get it. Good stuff. that I wasn't eating that well pizza and a side of COVID hi guys okay I just want to pop in here really quick and just say thank you thank you to anyone and everyone who purchased my journal prompts um, it was a project I've been working on for a little bit and I just wanted to make sure to get them out to you guys before summer because 
summer can be like this time that we're in right now it can be a stressful time because diet culture is just basically telling us to start getting on these diets and start looking a certain way to fit in for your summer bod all these different things that i'm you know even thinking and i just want to get my point across that you don't need to focus on those things this summer you need to focus on the memories and the people you're with and that literally that and that's what i wanted my journal prompts to be about that's all about food freedom body image that was all I wanted these journal prompts to be focused around. So if you did purchase them, I just want to say thank you. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you love them. And I really hope that they do help you um, fall in love with not a body image, but just fall in love with life and get your confidence up for the summer so you can feel good. And yeah, I'm just so excited for you guys and if you haven't purchased one and you want to look at them, um, I will leave the link in my bio, not in my bio, I'll leave the link down below so you can check them out. But yeah, I just want to say thank you, I love you, and I hope you love them. This is my Monday morning look. I'm trying to get more comfortable on the camera and I feel like the only way I'll do that is if I show you what I look like on a Monday morning. I feel like that'll just like break the ice for me so hi this is me it is currently 8 33 on a monday um i have been sick the past like three to four days have not worked out have just been feeling like absolute crap if you can't tell with my voice i have a really bad sore throat um, and I think it was because last week was just a lot for me mentally. Last week I released my journal prompts and I just want to make sure that everything was perfect. And whenever I'm like in that like go, go, go mode, usually my body tends to react <laughs> and I get sick or I just don't feel the best. So I'm learning as I go. I'm learning to just not overwork and overstress myself. Um, but yeah, I'm just not feeling my best today, which sucks because Mondays I usually have a lot to do. Hopefully the next time I bring out my vlog camera, I'll be feeling 100% better. Hi guys. It's still Monday. I still look sick. Um, but you know what, we're going for a walk. I need to move my body because I just need to get in some fresh air. I think I'm gonna go to the beach for a little walk. Um, I just hate being sick, bro. Like, this sucks. I haven't been sick in a minute. Yeah, I just hate starting my Mondays feeling like this and looking like this, but... It's okay, I'm just showing you guys that I'm not always energetic and... What is this doing? I'm not always energetic, even though it may seem like that. Obviously when I'm sick, I feel like absolute crap. Um, I haven't been able to work out in like three to four days now. And I didn't realize how much serotonin a good sweat gives me. Like. I'm craving a workout right now, but I'm not going to because one, no energy to do that. Two, why would I work out when I'm sick? I don't know how people work out when they're sick. Like, are you trying to get sick for like the next week too? Like, I personally cannot work out when I'm sick. I gotta like rest and just go for a long walk or something because your girl will get even worse if she's sweating and sick and just not. That's just not. Not a good combination. Um, I look freaking crazy right now. It'll be funny to look back on this vlog and be like, dude. I'm sick and tell you, it just ain't it. But we're gonna be better tomorrow. I already know I'm gonna feel better tomorrow because I really, really did rest today. Like, I went to Whole Foods, got myself some flowers and some almond milk because, you know, necessities. And then, what else did I do today? I've just been honestly chilling. Oh, uh, I wrote out like manifestation stuff. 
I'm grateful that I'm sick because it means I'm alive, right? <laughs> Me trying to find the good in everything. I'm grateful I'm sick because it means that I'm alive and I'm breathing and I'm driving and I'm vlogging. I, I hate myself. It's the it's the fever brain. No, I'm kidding. I don't have a fever. I'm fine. I don't have COVID either, so relax. Just like a sore throat. Like, who even gets sore throats anymore? Like, I thought it's either COVID or you're just like... I don't know. Like, why do people get colds now? Like, that shouldn't even be a thing. So let's go to the ocean. Let's go to the ocean. This is my third time having Earth Cafe coffee because I'm obsessed. Um, third you, time in one week. <laughs> literally third time in one week. If you haven't had the iced honey almond milk latte, please go try it. Like it is so iconic. Are you gonna try it today or are you gonna get your <laughs> I, ice blended? I think I'm gonna get my ice blended, but I'm gonna have a sip of yours. Okay. She's and gonna then try you're gonna it. try mine. And then, okay, we'll get that on I camera. get like the, I think it's, it's like a mocha. Mocha. Mocha okay. ice blended. She likes her drinks blended. Mm -hmm. Is that weird? She's a blended I queen. Kind of You're a blended queen. I'm, I'm <laughs> We're gonna go get some some morning coffee. Morning coffee. Now, I've been getting decaf because she kind of inspired me. She's been doing decaf mm -hmm. and caffeine has really been affecting me lately. Like I don't feel the best <laughs> when I drink coffee anymore, which is just like I don't know. I'm just I'm experimenting. And I've been noticing that when I have decaf, I still get a little, I still get the jitters a little bit, but it's not as bad. So, doing decaf this week. This week. Parcel pending. Cheers to our Earth Cafe addiction. It's so, the best addiction. I tried Natalia's drink. Yeah, sorry, we didn't get it on camera, but it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, we did, we said we were going to The worst vlogger ever. <laughs> Two minutes later. It's insane. Like she's not lying. That that might be one of the best coffees I've ever had. Right? Mm -hmm. We're coming back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually <laughs> You guys, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. Let's not look at how dirty my room is and let's focus on my outfit. Um, I just put this on and I'm very <sighs> conflicted because please just <laughs> my toes. My toes are not painted, but I like can't wear any other shoes. Like I have to wear these shoes. Look how cute these shoes are. But I also don't have any time to paint my toes. Should I just like, I think I'm just gonna quickly paint my toes because I have to wear these shoes. Like there's no way I can't. So let's see. Okay, the only shade we have is blue, but we're still doing it. I just cannot um i'm literally only going to my friend's house but like i cannot look down and see those ugly things like that would be a disgrace to to myself so we're gonna do this in the quickest way possible <laughs> i'll show you guys <laughs> the result <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo. We about to have some tequila. We about to have some margaritas. We about to celebrate because it's a great day to be alive. I am about to go to my friend Autumn's. We're gonna make some drinks, make some tacos, make some mango ceviche. It's gonna be a good time, so happy Cinco de Mayo. Let's eat, let's celebrate. I'm actually stoked. Like, obviously you guys know I love Mexican food, so this is, this day might be one of my favorites, if I'm being completely honest. We got our spicy fit on. Top is um, Urban Outfitters. I've Okay, I've had this skirt for so long. My mom got it for me at freaking TJ Maxx, I swear. It is like, it fits like a glove. I can squat, so that's all that matters. Um, and then these shoes are Aloha's. What are we making, ladies? What are we making? I am making some mushroom tacos. We got cassava flour, chia seed, tortilla 
Lopez on the grill. We got, we got fresh guac. We got margaritas. This is how you do Cinco de Mayo. Yes, it is. All right, I'm gonna taste test this guac. Oh. Not done yet. Oh. The single taste test. test. Oh. She she needs a little more work. Are we no. sure? I want to get some pretty mango on top. Gosh. Autumn, I need your help. Taste test. What? I can't what do it without you. Want to cut the mango? I don't know how to cut it. No. Walk and chips is the superior appetizer. Like so good. Honey, what do you need help? I don't know how to do that. Like that seasoning is really hitting. Cheers. Gorgeous. Wow. Baby, Dot. I am the mushroom queen. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I hope you're having an amazing day. Sending all my love as always. Please like and subscribe if you want to stay. If you don't, okay. But I love you. And do something for your mental health today. Period. Love you.